Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another YouTube video here on the R427 channel. In today's video, I decided to do something a little bit different than usual. Um, instead of a normal speed build, I'm just going to be doing a little quick update on a new game coming to the channel. Uh, it's going to be Prehistoric Kingdom, which they've just released a alpha um, uh, release date. It's coming out on the March on March 19th. Um, so I'm going to get the uh, version of the game which comes with the alpha, so um, that'll be covered on the channel. Obviously it won't be as much as uh, Planet Zoo, uh, because it's only alpha, but um, there'll definitely be quite a few videos on that. And also there's going to be a live stream on March 19th as soon as the game drops uh, in alpha, so make sure to look out for that. And I'm just going to go through what's going to be in the alpha. I'm not going to do this every month because there's devlogs every month, I just want to do this one uh, this month because obviously uh, the alpha's coming and it's going to be it's definitely going to be a big part of the channel so uh, let's get into it okay so first up we've got six animals in the game uh, well in alpha anyway there's got a lot more in full game including the tyrannosaurus rex or oh, soon it is um, the edmontosaurus i believe it's lambiosaurus i'm sorry if i don't pr pronounce some of these right uh, Styrosaurus, I'm not going to have a go at that one, Microraptor, and they've all got different skins. Uh, next is multi-level pathfinding, um, which is just obviously paths and ramps that you can use for your dinosaurs to get around easier. Um, different behaviours, terraforming, so such as um, doing lakes, rivers, uh, uh, make mountains, uh, blah blah blah. Paintable biomes, you've got tropical, temperate, scrubland and wetland. So, you know, just, it's actually very similar to Jurassic World Evolution with the uh, with the Alpha. Um, there's going to be 13 structures, uh, I presume just ones to uh, place down, not uh, modular. Yeah, it's gonna, 250 plus modular items, um, which is more than enough. I mean, that's what you get in one DLC for Planet Zoo, which is great. You'll be able to save and load your park, so that's that's pretty good. You've got obviously the basic videos, um, visitors, sorry, uh, economy and power stuff. Going back to what I said about modular um, pathfinding, uh, similar to the monkeys and um, species like that in uh, Planet Zoo, you can do the exact same here as you can see with the Edmontosaurus. Um, you can get up on little ledges. Uh, there reminds me a lot of the bears actually, seeing as you know it's a wide path. Um, here we've got Edmontosaurus vocals, so let's just listen to these. Okay, that was the Edmontosaurus for you there, and uh, the uh, foliage showcase for this uh, month is um, Elm, Oak and Sebel Palm, uh, sorry, just, I'm not sure what that is, uh, or how to pronounce that anyway, but you say this is like a temperate biome really, um, just, it's basically what we live in in England really. Um, we've got palm trees here, here are the modular building sets, you've got stone, what well, looks to be concrete, metal, another metal, two types of woods. And then with the roofs, the hay beds, um, just like Planet Zoo really, a glass fence, and that was all. Thank you so much for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video make sure to give it a like, and if you enjoy my content overall make sure to try and subscribe, uh, with notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. There should be a Planet Zoo video coming out later this week, so uh, yeah make sure to check that out. Okay thanks guys so much for watching, goodbye.